look, here's the black holocaust, I knew it was prophecy, a thousand times worse than the Jewish atrocities, uneven playing field, there'll never be a fair score, cause in 1619, that's when they declared war, we the 12 tribes, the ones that the promise reaches, Shalom family, I'm Sakashiya from the School of Sakara once again, we like to start always like saying, Ka'ala, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and today, Man, simply, we're gonna find that are Christians. Let's see if you really believe in this Bible, man. Come on, let's get started with this for each other. In Tainus and the Caribbean, what should happen to the so called white man or Caucasian for the rape, rob, slaughter, murder of over 100 million indigenous people and 100 million? Negroes doing slavery, you know, transatlantic slavery. What do you think should happen? What should be the karma? What should be the justice for our people to get from their people? For what they did, for what your people did to my people, according to the Bible. Okay. Right, that's, that's, that's a good, uh, that's a hot, tough one, man. You know? Is it but, tough one? What, but, I mean, but my, if, heart, my, if, heart, my heart goes out to your guys. And, because of what's going on in this world, like all the hatred and stuff like that. Right, right, right. You know, that's being, like, us being marginalized, slavery, you know what I'm right. saying? killed in the street for no reason. Yeah, just because you guys are black and stuff like right. that. Right, that's, that's, right. that's messed up, that's racism. That's racism, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, according to what you were, uh, according to your own admission, right, what should, what justice should we have? What justice should freedom, our people, man. freedom, freedom, right? Freedom. So what should happen to the white man for what they did to our people? Because remember, justice, if you go to the, if you go to court, you're gonna be charged. Here's, here's the charges against your people, right? You're gonna be charged with murder, rape, slaughter, damn near genocide, right? So what should happen? What should be what should be the judgment to your people and what you did to my people? Well, that's, that's, that's a good call, man. I mean, you say you say you're a man of justice, right? So what 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 does justice look like for the children of God, according to the Bible? Keep, let's, let's read it to you. Go ahead. This is Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Uh -huh. Well, over 10. Verse 10. He that leads into captivity. Your people, so for Caucasians, led my people into captivity. Let's read it again. Uh -huh. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. So do you believe that the so-called Caucasian should go to slave, should, be, should go into slavery for, for what they did to God's chosen people? I, I just believe, I think this world should just basically have a little peace. Basically let you guys, like, basically have real peace. It shouldn't matter between race. That's just my opinion. But yes, my heart goes out to you guys. Keep reading it, keep reading it, keep reading it. I see what it is. Keep he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right. So the patience and the faith of the saints, which are the children of God, are patiently waiting, according to prophecy, to put the people, the nations of people that put us into slavery, we're patiently waiting for the Most High to put you guys into slavery. Do you agree with the Bible? I don't know. I, you I, agree with that? I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of confused now, man. You're confused. So let me let me let me let me let me let me give you some context, right? So let's say we go into your neighborhood. And we do those things to your family, to your grandmother, to your grandfather, to your children, your siblings, your close friends. We do all these to friends. What would you expect justice to look like in the court system pertaining to us? That's a good question. And here's I, what I, 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 I asked. No, yeah. ask. This is for the camera. I want you to understand. This is why the Bible calls Edomites, the devil the Bible speaks of, because you guys are not truthful. You would say that if we did that to your family, you would want just death penalty, life sentence, etc. But when we ask you guys to be sincere, as far as your judgment, you guys, your, your answer was, let's just have peace. But how can we have peace if blood has already been shed? You see what I'm saying? So, do you agree when the Bible says that God hates Esau? Matter of fact, give me Malachi 1.4. I'm going to show you something else. Let me show you why the Bible tells, let, lets us know who you are according to the scripture. Malachi 1.4. Because you just proved the Bible. This is how we know. This is how the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Indigenous Americans. This is how we know that this Bible is all the way true. Because we encounter people like you all the time. And the Bible already told us about people like you, the Edomites. Go ahead. Bring it up. This is Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. Uh -huh. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Uh -huh. 
but we will return and build the desolate places. Right. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build. Like you, got, like you guys built America on the backs of slavery from the so-called indigenous people and, 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 and the Negroes. Go ahead. They shall build, and I will throw down. And this is how we know that America is going to be destroyed by the, by the Most High. Go ahead. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. So God calls the Edomites, the so-called Caucasians, the border of wickedness. What do you think about that? That's crazy, man. Would you still consider yourself to be a Christian after you really read the Bible? I don't know, man. You don't know? <laughs> Even though God says he hates the white man, you, you still believe in the Bible? That's sad. Why is that sad? I'm, I'm speechless. He's speechless. Species. So, so again, do you? What do you, I wanted to make sure I get you on the record. What do you think should happen to your people for what you guys did to my people? I don't know, man. It's pretty fucked up. Did you go for Trump? I don't, I don't go. You just go. Okay. Well, uh, you got one. Go ahead, do it up. Three. All right. Number chapter thirty-five, verse thirty-three. So you should not prove the land where you are. For blood, it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So you believe in the Bible when it says that your people got to do, you got to do uh, an eye for an eye, two for two, and the Bible says you don't believe in that? I do, I do to an extent, yeah. Um, so you do, you believe, okay, let's see, yeah. you believe to an extent as long as it doesn't pertain to you. Because the Bible just says that you guys got to go into slavery for what you do to my people. And the Bible says also that that has to happen because we shed blood on our land. So the same blood that you shed, you're supposed to be shedding the same blood. Right. So, so you agree with the Bible up until, right, and correct me if I'm wrong, up until it becomes your judgment. Right? When, when you have to put yourself in the hot seat, when the Caucasian has to put himself in the hot seat, that's when the judgment of the Most High, that becomes a fairy tale. That's not true. So, so you believe that you gotta be going to slavery for what your forefathers did to my forefathers. Okay, all praise. Yet again, we have another Edomite that agrees with the Bible. Hey, appreciate you. Alright.